going to be covering the basics of eyeshadow. Uh, I know that eyeshadow is one of the hardest things to get into, and um, I found it to be the most frustrating of barriers to break when it came to familiarizing myself with makeup. Um, the very first eyeshadow that I bought, I still have. I've used this. It's lasted me forever. I've had it probably about 10 years. Uh, when I was looking at it, I was like, is this MAC? It says, make up art cosmetics Toronto. What is that? And then I was like, MAC MAC. That is how old it is. And this is an espresso. So this, uh, excuse me, I'm still sick. This is um, something that in the dead of winter, I'll like take it with just a simple angled, and this was MAC too. I bought these together. Oh my god, I was a lost little girl. I think I was like 18 back when, you know, like 13 year olds weren't doing professional level contouring. I was like, help me, I just want to buy eyeshadow. I don't know how to do eyeshadow. She's like, okay, honey, you get this and you rub it in and you do it like this, and then you get a different shade or color and you rub it in like this. So back before makeup was the fine art that it is, um, when it was just professional artists who knew the artistry of angled brushes, even then they used craft brushes. And if you watch the super professional um, makeup artists on Instagram, they still use like craft paint brushes from um, Michaels. Sorry, I love hollow notes. Like I love hollow notes and tears for fears to like the 80s. You know, I'm probably going to be bumping the cure and stuff like that during all of our all of my YouTube videos because I'm an 80s gal, even though I was born in the 90s. So, um, what she told me was she was like, I do everything with this. And you can, like, the, the finest artists. Okay, so, I, like, I'm going way into, I'm going too deep because this is a basic video, but uh, the best artists, painting artists, um, they sometimes do everything with one diverse brush like this. Like, if you tilt it the right way, you can do the arch. But again, that like that was more a thing of the past. And if you're in a hurry, you're going to get an angled crease brush like this from um, Morphe. Uh, that's going to, you know, give you that perfect um, little defined arch look that you want. So let's go ahead and get started. The first palette I ever bought. I was 21. My cousin took me to Ulta. I was like, what is this place? And I was like, oh, look, brown blush. And the the employee was like, you don't know much about makeup, do you? And I was like, no. She's like, that's definitely bronzer. And I was like, oh, it's not just like brown blush. Like, yeah, I was that new. So it was Too Faced. And this was back when, you know, the creator put all of his, Jared Blendino put all of his portraits on the back. And um, I wish he would do that with more of his work. I mean, it's more, it's, more of a customized signature, and then I tossed this. I don't know why I did that. It was like a little booklet that you pulled out, and it explained the eye, how to apply this palette. I mean, this is one of the most diverse palettes that I've ever purchased. I still even have, yeah, I, sh I should have kept the little booklet. I don't know what I was thinking. I'll never forget when um, all my girlfriends had little makeup palettes with in, like little handheld instructions. They should still do this because not everyone's a pro, you know? Um, so before we do all of this, um, again, which we'll probably go in with this, and then we'll probably go in with one of the Urban Decays. Because when you're getting started and you want to do professional makeup, neutral makeup, day-to-day -day professional look to wow the office or be taken seriously as a young teacher, um, or maybe just finally you want to actually give makeup a try, uh, you want to go ahead and use eyeshadows that are very basic and easy to blend. If you buy the cheap stuff, it's not easy to blend the way uh, these formulas are. I hate saying it, but it's true. I used to think as long as you put primer, you know, your eyeshadow is fine. But um, we're going to go ahead and set, do, I'm going to do my face first. Uh, if you want to go ahead and fast forward because you're like, well, hello, I got on this channel so I can learn how to do my eyeshadow, that's fine. But again, if you've seen my foundation video, you're like, move on, lady. Um, we're going for an all-around professional, like, neutral day-to-day -day look. And if you want to mimic this 100%, I really recommend you do so to get that daily, the daily routine down and get that look so that you go from taking 30 minutes to get ready to, like, taking... 20 minutes to get ready, you know? 
For me personally, I take 20 minutes. Um, even when I want to throw in, throw on some eyeshadow, like this morning, I threw on some eyeshadow and I use this Stilla, um, oh, sorry. I use this Stilla, uh, Smashbox, uh, like highlighter, gold highlighter that I got at like, again, Marshall's for like $5. Like Smashbox is expensive. Smashbox is what they sell at Ul Ulta and Sephora. Smashbox, uh, Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This, I highly recommend that you put on if you're going to do an all-day look and you're going to be indoors. Um, if you're going to be outdoors, I don't recommend primer. If you work at a coffee shop, I don't recommend foundation at all. Here's why. So I worked at a Starbucks for a year. And fortunately, I was young. I wasn't wearing foundation at the time. But I went back recently to have a part-time job on top of substitute teaching. And... I started out and my boss is different because the first time around it was a man. Second time around it was a woman. She was like, make sure your makeup's done. You know, I do my makeup every day. You guys should be doing your makeup every day. So I did my makeup every day and uh, the steam gets in, opens up your pores and then your foundation gets all up in your skin. And I broke out. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do an eye look with mascara and go all out. And I am not going to wear foundation anymore. So I will go over that. I probably will do a barista makeup look. That'd be a good... I want to do tutorials for women who have to go to work every day. They're just... They're not looking for a quick photo shoot pic to post on the internet. Which is... If you want to do that, that's cool. I'm probably going to wind up doing that since I'm a hobbyist. Um, but, you know, for the most part, when you're getting started, you want to know what you're doing. Uh, Laura Mercier, my usual flawless foundation, ultra longwear foundation in the color Macadamia. I just just put it a little bit on my forehead, not too much, and then a little bit on my cheeks to look uh, to blend out my veins, as you can see. Uh, let's see. Two things, two things about to happen right now. I'm about to put this back in my makeup bag. YouTube rich girl hollow notes I'm trying to keep this vibe going. I don't want you know AOL 2000 hollow notes YouTube video. I want like give me the good old days um so uh, For my concealer creases concealer uh, from Tarte and 255 light medium sand light medium sand uh, little goes a long way. I've said this in other videos before. I love this stuff to death. Like Tarte, I think is Tarte, NARS, and Urban Decay are always going to be my go-to concealers. But if you get Urban Decay, I highly recommend that you buy, if you have bad bags and you're always tired like me, I highly recommend that you get a NARS or a Tarte on top of it and then have the Urban Decay be a, um, oh, what is, be like a, primary base. So first put on the Urban Decay, then put on the Tarte. But you'll never be strong. Oh, you're a rich girl. Too far, because you know it don't matter anyway. I can rely on the only ones. I'm so, I sound so sick. Oh, you're like, shh. I came for the makeup, not your horrible boys. Oh, I'm miserable too. I'm not going to lie. Like, all the kids are sick in the long-term class. I'm subbing long-term. This is like, this has been my third day in this class. All the kids are sick. The teacher's out sick with like a cold and the flu, like stomach flu. She had to get a shot to keep the, um, to keep herself from puking. And she's like, I'll be back. It's all good. And I'm like, dude, if I got a shot to keep myself from puking, I wouldn't be back at work the next day. Good for her. And that is why I just don't have it in me to fully commit to being a professional full-time teacher right now because I just, I just, I couldn't, that's so like amazing of her. I, hats off to her. I could not return. I would be terrified that I would like puke in the middle of class in front of all the kids and like cry. And then like someone would call the principal and the principal would be like, are you all right? And I'd be like, uh, in my own, no, no. But, uh, we do what we do for what we love. She loves teaching. She's done it forever. She's taught this grade forever. She's taught at this school location forever. 
And it, I, I was really honored to be able to sub for her for three days. And that's where, you know, I see so many of the principals that are female and they look professional. They're wearing professional shoes, professional clothes. I might do, um, I might start doing fashion if you guys want me to do like professional fashion to model like what is good for like office casual and what's not good. I worked at a tech company for a summer and it was like one of those jobs where I was like the old weirdo because I was like 26, 27 when I started working there and everybody there was a fresh out of college grad and their interpretations on business casual were really interesting and I was like uh, sorry, Mineral Veil vale goes last. Um, and I was like, well, someone needs to like explain to these kids or especially since it's a tech company, you guys can't make a quick YouTube video of like professional, not business professional, like ripped jeans, probably something you're going to want to forego. Um, slacks, whatever. And then, um, when I started working there off the shoulder blouses became really popular. Uh, uh, off the shoulder, like stripes became really popular. And I saw some professional looking blouses with the big bell sleeves. Um, so I really wanted to go ahead and give it a try. And I did it anyways. I mean, I got mixed reviews. Some of my family members, because I was shopping with my mom and my aunt at the time, some of my family members were like, Alyssa, that's like really not professional. And then some of my family members were like, no, that's super professional. I mean, I got it at a New York company, which is known for like professional clothes. But, um, I mean, I wore it, I rocked it, I didn't care, but I mean, a lot of people would have said no to that too. Times are changing, but if you're wearing like ripped jeans and a ripped t-shirt and a leather jacket to your office job that requires business casual, it's probably just not a good idea. Okay, so you're going to think I'm weird. I'm going to play some hot rod circuit and I'm sorry that I'm like taking my time with this video. I really shouldn't be. I wanted to make it timed. Again, you can fast forward through all my rambling and be like, okay, I don't, no one cares about your sad little life. Show me how to do my eyeshadow because I'm a working businesswoman and I've got stuff to do. Fast forward it. So this is soft, medium, 11, broad spectrum, 15, bare minerals, original foundation formula. Um, I've never been, never been disappointed by bare essentials, lip gloss, foundation, like, I've just never been disappointed by Bare Essentials. Bare Essentials and Anastasia Beverly Hills will never do you wrong. If you're older, Anastasia Beverly Hills is glittery. Bare Essentials is not unless you get a glittery eyeshadow because they offer they offer makeup for younger women and older women. Um, so I, if you're looking to get day-to-day -day professional makeup, Anastasia Beverly Hills, Bare Essentials, Tarte. If you're looking for like quality concealers, quality foundations, um, quality foundations. Yeah, let me tell you something. Bare Minerals, Laura Mercier, uh, well rested. Laura Mercier has, um, they're pricey, but same. It's like Lancome. I mean, like you get what you're paying for when it comes to foundations. Some brands have foundations down. Uh, my mother personally prefers. Um, Clinique, which I want to give another chance to Clinique. So this is the um, concealer, obviously. Uh, I have a few Clinique eyeshadows, which I might uh, swatch for you guys. Um, but we should just go ahead and get started and get right into the whole eyeshadow aspect of everything. Um, since we're doing, since we're already here, this is the um, amazing Smashbox. Um, gold uh spotlight palette gold palette illuminance uh so this i don't know i got it for so cheap i was amazed i was like this is smashbox oh my god so i don't know if i because i haven't really like thought through my look too well i don't know if i want to go ahead and put this on now or what i've been doing lately is i've been doing brown i did it this morning and yesterday morning too brown and then a layer of smashbox one of the um gold colors over it and you'd be amazed because I'll show you one of the very first looks that I ever did uh it's just easy and it, I, it's a popular winter look like it's the weather's bipolar here so actually no it's not it's been raining for like a week solid thank god because we need it um 
So the brown, I used to cover my whole lid in brown. And I don't care what anyone says. Um, you need, oh, I've seen these videos. I saw a model the other day. Um, you need a transition shade. You can't just pack on some gold cream or like, well, not gold cream, some shimmery cream, uh, cream eyeshadow and just go. I mean, that's something I used to do when I was 18 and I look at pictures of myself and I'm like, oh, I look so incomplete. And when it comes to, um, excuse me, when it comes to eyeshadows, oh, I have way, way, I have too much and I have some stuff that I've never even messed with from Bare Essentials that I just like, I need an excuse, you guys, please send requests. I have like exotic stuff. I have blue eyeshadow, I have everything. But what I'm trying to go ahead and display to you guys is, um, eyeshadow primer. Now, this is a personal choice. So this is like the original. This is a sample pack I got. This is the potion stuff that people always buy when you um, buy Urban Decay. Uh, the Naked palettes, they give you these to sample along with them. Um, some of them are like shimmery based, so you already have that shimmered layer on underneath. Eden, which is nude matte, anti-aging nude. Color corrects and blurs flaws is what it says. And then uh, the original... This one's the original, but I will go ahead and show you the primer that I use. My go-to, I've had this forever. Don't don't be deceived. You're going to be like, I can't believe what they charge for this. But like, this stuff is the holy grail of eyeshadow primer, and I babied it. Um, when I'm doing a day-to-day -day look, especially if I'm just doing going in with some brown, I don't do eyeshadow primer typically, but um, if I'm... If I, I'm feeling ambitious and like go the extra mile or I'm, I know I'm going to have a long day ahead of me or I want to do multiple shades, which I might do right now. I'm probably going to do multiple shades. Um, I would go for the eyeshadow primer. Um, it's, uh, it holds it in place. Um, it makes it pop more, but mostly it just, your eyeshadow doesn't go anywhere. Your eyeshadow doesn't crease up. But when it comes to browns, for me, my eye... My skin's oily. My eyes, my eyelids are, tend to be really oily. For whatever reason, brown just absorbs into my skin. And it could just be this MAC formula, this this eyeshadow, this simple eyeshadow. would blend into my eye and just stay all day long. So what I'm going to do, because I want to show you the diversity of simple, professional eye looks. Um, you do one eye brown, which is typical. Everyone goes for brown. Brown looks good on everyone. And one eye, probably pink. So I'm going to go ahead and go in, this is always what I used to do, I just cover my whole lid with brown. I don't know what happened to my music, why is it being like this? Um, yeah, I would just go in with just this dark brown color. And, uh, oh my god, there's so much we could do with my eyeshadow right now. It's not even funny. Um, let's see. I'm blending it, blending it up, blending it in, up and in. Okay. So, if you want, sometimes, like, if I were to throw some liquid eyeliner on, onto this, it would just, I could just get it and go. Literally, I could just... Take it and go. Um, but we want to kind of take things to the next level, so to speak. Also, another look that will help you just get it and go. Elf has these creams. And, like, this just looks like it would be an eyeshadow primer. But, like, you'd be surprised. This simple little nude look blended in with a brush. That's a simple done and go. If eyeshadow is, like, not your deal, you just want to look a little complete on top of doing painting on your face. You can go ahead and do that. Sometimes taking it to the next level is just something as simple as getting a Clinique chubby stick uh, shadow tint for eyes and going over the lid. Man, this stuff. It's a... Uh, when I found it, I loved it right away. Uh, it definitely like gives you a, a defined look. So this is more like throwback smoky eye, like all the rage when, we, I don't know how old you are if you're watching this video, all the rage when I was young, 
when I was in like junior high, all the girls were like the smoky eye and every magazine had like a tutorial on it. So we'll go ahead and go into taking this look to the next level a little bit. Um, I, I know my eye looks, it makes my eye look really closed as of right now, but it's okay. We'll go ahead and fix it up later. I'm going to go ahead and take lap dance. <laughs> Uh, super raunchy name sometimes. This was early Too Faced. Um, maybe their names are just as raunchy. So I'm gonna, get, gonna go ahead and go in to the lid a bit, leaving the inside kind of dark. Now this you can customize however you want. I personally like sticking more onto my lid itself, especially like in a, on a dreary like wintry day. I like a dark brown. Dreary wintry days are the days that you can rock dark brown, take a, a this is what I get for not being prepared, a liquid eyeliner and some uh, mascara, which I'm going to use again my Revlon volumizing waterproof mascara along with my uh, Shiseido eyelash curler and uh, my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow cream. Oh my gosh. I, I like If you watch my videos, you'll see how much I rant and rave about Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eyeshadow, eyeshadow, eyebrow wand. I mean, it's, it's great. It's probably the best thing I have in my entire makeup bag. It, it takes two seconds. It gives you quick, defined brows. Um, and as to what type of um, eyeliner you would like to use, gosh, you could do anything. So I have Avon and I have Marc Jacobs. I have Avon in black. You can do Marc Jacobs in black stick. This, is, this part is just a personal preference. I know people who they're like, I would never in a million years, in a million years, go for a stick. I personally enjoy it. Uh, again, that goes back to it being a personal preference. And then this is a throwback. I will never get rid of this. I think they still have it. Flirt, Look of Love, Pencil. Oh my God, I think I got this. And look at how old it is. I got it in high school, but it's tried and true. My girlfriend, we pulled it out one day and I was like, you have that? This was like junior year. I'm 28. Um, junior year and she's like yeah I was like oh my goodness uh so this is great for under under eye I'm sure they have this was when flirt was brand new like a gold color gold tint to it uh then um to set that what you're gonna want to do is again this is I'm going above and beyond I'm sure you guys know that to go ahead and set that you're gonna want to take an angled angled eyeliner and, um, oh no, and then go into the lap dance. Again, dupe for lap dance, dupe for lap dance. Probably nowadays, cause that's the old palette. This is like, I'm going back to like my, my golden years. Uh, it would probably be busted and Urban Decay Naked 2, which they still sell. If not, perhaps the Naked 3 might have it. No, yeah. It'd be maybe Mugshot in the Naked 3, um, but this is such a common color. So you want to go over any eyeliner, any pencil eyeliner with powder to set it and make sure that it stays in place because it staying in place is crucial. You don't want your eyeliner throughout the day. Who wants to walk around looking like my Yorona? The answer is no one. No one. No one ever wants to walk around looking like La Llorona. Okay, so this is like genuinely embarrassing. I cannot find my liquid eyeliner for the life of me. And that is what I get for not being like well prepared. I will be back. I have to pull my nose anyways. Real professional, Alyssa, right? You're going, you're going straight for a paid tutorial. It was right here. Right here, I was sitting on it. So what I've been trying, I've tried everything. Pardon me. Pardon me, guys. I've tried everything for eyeliner. Liquid eyeliner. I've tried every brand. The best brands I have come across are Milani. Milani has a great liquid eyeliner. I just haven't uh, 
I buy it with convenient when I'm at Target or whatever. Liquid eyeliner is just like mascara. I've bought Clinique before and it's lit. I hope they've changed their recipe. Sorry, I don't mean to throw shade at you, Clinique. I hope you've changed your recipe. I literally could take it off with water. Who wants that? That falls off your face uh, throughout the day. That smears, falls under your eyes. It's not fun. Um, but the few tried and true brands that I've done, that have just worked miracles for me. I really like this Super Cat Skinny. I got this at Target. The brand is Soap and Glory, so it's new. Uh, you can get it at any Target. Um, and then that Milani eyeliner really stuck out for me. So uh, what I recommend for liquid eyeliner is you do slow little, slow little dabs, little dabs. Work along the eye. I feel like, uh, who's that painter with the fro? That's like, we're just gonna turn these little wisps, wisps into birds and just paint away our feelings. Look, don't you feel much better now? I'm gonna do like ASMR eyeliner video after this. Comment down below if you want. No. Um, <laughs> Someone just needs to like reach over and backhand my mouth sometimes because I'm not YouTube appropriate all the time. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, ah, um, what am I going to do? What is she going to do next? Oh gosh, gosh. So I'm going to probably clean up. That's what I'm going to do next. Um, I'm going to go over my, uh, my eyebrows with Anastasia Beverly Hills because why not because I can do both of them what I was looking for is my eyelash curler like just not prepared um so I'm gonna go ahead just so you could see how I do it I go I do circular motions I do down then I do up down back up we need some music we definitely need some tunage because when we don't have tunage, I ramble. Any requests? I'm thinking, hmm, what do I want to listen to? Um, oh, excuse me. That was horrible. Sorry. Unedited video. I just had chorizo for dinner. Who would have guessed? So this is how, when I really want to fill them out, this is what I do. Um, and then I... I brush them back into the direction that they go in and we're just gonna you know make the world what we want to with this brown paint paint the world we like bob ross yes that was i was like come on Alyssa, what is that guy's name uh so i'm thinking music vibe we want to go for i don't know um so that's it for this eye. I guess I I should put on my, some mascara, right? Yeah. Mascara. We're going to go ahead and put on some mascara. Something just came flying out of this bag. It is a mascara wand. What? Um, is it my Shiseido? Wow. How did that happen? That's bizarre. Um, sorry, my hair is wet. I just got out of the shower. Um... Still having that oily problem. I read online that it's just like your, which makes sense. I was overwashing my hair. Your hair is just, um, it's what happens when your hair is too dry. My scalp's too dry, so it's overproducing oil, which makes sense because all of our faces do, like, they all do that. Our hair does that. My skin is, like, really gross today. I didn't drink much water. Drink water. I'm a coffee addict. I used to work at Starbucks, like I said. Total coffee addict. I've had two cups today already. Actually, I lied. I had a uh, caramel macchiato and then I had a cup of coffee on top of it. I am don't judge. If I didn't drink coffee, I know I'd have my skin. I know I drink because I drink coffee, water. That's it. Coffee or water. So if I was just a pure water drinker and I ate an avocado today, if I like with my purely good diet, I know I would have my skin. I just I love coffee. I love coffee. Like, it's a sincere problem. What can you do? And then to uh, complete the cheek look, 
I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go in with what color do I want to use? Do I want to do a pinky color, or orangey color? For a look like this, when I'm typically doing a winter look, I'm going to go ahead and go in with Nectarine in Peachy Love Anastasia Beverly Hills. Although, you know, I have a lot of, I have a lot of blushes to choose from. You know what? This is a pretty neutral one because the eyes are already thick. We do not need dramatic uh, blush. So we'll go ahead and go in with that. Paint away all our sorrows. Making the world a better place. One blush stroke at a time. And then, um, snip that shut. Like, my feelings. And we're gonna take, finally, our mineral veil. And um, I like to, a lot of people like to lay it on thick with a beauty blender. That is a bit much. Although, um, you could lay it on thick and then, then do your setting spray, which might look nice. And it is, my skin does get oily, and it is rather, uh, it is rather wet outside because it's been raining all day, and I don't want to be oily, and I want, I don't want this makeup to go anywhere, but you know what? No. No, no. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Uh, do this, do that. Put a lid on that, and that is the completed look for one eye. This is something very simple. I, again, I like it thick. For the winter time, personal preference. You can totally go in light. Sometimes with this, I go in with no primer, super lightly, cover the whole lid, throw on some mascara, go. Um, I kind of wanted to do that for you guys, but I also knew I anybody can throw on just brown eyeshadow. With uh, What you do is you throw it on with a brush like this. Again, my no-name brush kit works wonders. You just blend it on in. You, you uh, dip into here, blend it on in, mascara, eyeliner, go. Now that's like basic, basic, basic. For obvious reasons, I didn't display that because, I mean, hello. You, I know you're beginners, but me telling you that, once you go out and buy a color like this and do it, you're going to be like, especially if you have greasy lids like mine, you don't need a primer to, to hold it in place because you just put general brown all over your eyes. So it's all good. Um... Didn't want to be condescending. I knew you probably wanted like some some layers to your face. Why wouldn't you? So uh, the next look is going to be, I think, a pinky look. Um, pinky looks are really like in. They're the season right now. Another one of my Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics. It, I saw it on sale. I got this two, three years ago. I, but I saw it on sale at Marshall's again for $24.99, which I was like, okay, I know I paid a lot for it. And then I broke the mirror the other day. I'm so mad. The mirror fell off. Um, I hope I don't get seven years bad luck, but you never know. So these are basic colors. So these, like any of these right here, you could just rub rub all over your lid and go. Um, but we'll go ahead. Um, so I recommend this. If you're the type of girl that you're like, I'm just looking for like, this was supposed to be a professional video. I just want a, a general setting, like, of foundation, everything that I need. I want to throw on one color and look professional and go. I mean, that's what you do. Um, there's a fine line between looking caked and professional. And some women think they look professional and they show up to work looking really caked. And that's actually really unprofessional. So if you watch my other video about um, doing professional makeup and... Uh, job interview makeup and as well as uh oh my goodness what is it called um audition makeup like if you go to any type of movie audition uh play audition theater audition you want to wear neutral makeup because the whole idea is that you are someone's blank canvas and they want to look at you and be able to paint you however they want can they paint you however they want in their imagination if you walk in with blue eyeshadow no, because what's the standing out feature on your face? Blue eyeshadow. Wake up. Hello. So let's go ahead and do, like I said, a pinky look. Um, pinky looks are delicate. They're hard to do. So it's important that I'm doing a tutorial like this for you guys. I never even really played with the pinky colors that I had, and I should have. So this, uh, the Naked 3, is a pinky palette. Um, I got these. I was like... I had high hopes for them. They work. They're just not great. I expected them to be like the milk dupe. So I saw these and it's called 
Jackie and Lauren Cosmetics eyeliner. It came in a full kit of a bunch of them at Marshall's for like five, I don't even, maybe like two dollars. I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, like this is the milk dupe. It's all good. Uh, it wasn't, I put it on under my eyes and my dad was like, you have some like white under your eyes and it was like smeared down my eyes. But then again, granted, I have wet eyes and I have like oily skin, you know? So, and my eyelashes point down. So everything just runs down my face, runs down the corner. So it's hard sometimes. But what I do recommend is that we first, uh, so I'm going to take this and we're going to actually, you'd be surprised. We're, we'll use this as a lower lid um, primer to hold the rest of it together. Again, this goes into how we always need, you're always going to need a transition color. So think about this if you do art, if you are an actual artist, think about it as a wash. If you are an actual artist, I don't see why you'd be washing this though. Um, but hey, you never know. Makeup is a different realm. Depending on your skin tone or just pre personal preference, um, I'm going to go with Limit, but you can um, prime your lid with Nooner if you'd like. Again, personal preference. So I'm going to go in with Limit completely. I'm going to put this. This mirror fell off too, and I broke that one. So <laughs> It's like two views forever. Someone's watching this five years from now, and they're like, so what you want to do is take Limit, put it all over your back lid all over it. Just fill her out. Uh, that actually looks really nice. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to take uh, the Jackie and Lauren Cosmetics eyeliner. The eyeliner eyeliner. <laughs> wow. Wow. Mom joke. Can you tell I'm a teacher? Like, the kids, I made the kids laugh today, and they're like, she's fun when she subs, and I'm like, I crack the dorkiest jokes. Like, why do you think I'm funny? We're going to take uh, Miss Olivia? Miss something. I don't even know. Olivia, Ollie, Ollie and Olivia, Ollie and, uh, Ollie and something, it came off. I got uh, this really cheap but amazing quality brush kit at TJ Maxx. Oh, my goodness. Like, when it comes to um, eyeshadow brushes, like, I'll buy them. I'll buy, like, the natural brand uh, that are they're all bamboo and stuff like that. I'll buy those at Target, whatever, and they last me four years, and they work no problem. Like, look at that. If you wanted to set that, have that be your look and go, that's it. Just remember, all that matters is that we have a... Uh, primer look, like a, um, a transition look, and then a lighter on the lower lid. And then we have two options to work with here. We can either go in with Nooner and have that be like our arch color, or we can do Burnout. I think um, to take this look to the next level, I'm going to do both. So I'm going to go back to my Morphe angled brush which I used to have two really, really good angled brushes, and I lost both of them, and I don't know how I did that. Like, how do you just do that? Like, what was I thinking? What, how on earth do you just do that? You want to make sure it's light, because when it comes to crease, uh, crease brushes, uh, you can't really go back, you know? You're kind of set in stone. You're kind of SOL. You're kind of up a creek without a paddle, and only Bob Ross can get you out of it. So, what you want to do after you're done painting your face, this beautiful sunset pink you always wish you could do. Now that we're finished with the flamingo look, sorry, I'm going in. I'm not even telling you what I'm doing. I'm going in with burnout. I'm going in with burnout on the palette lightly. What I just did, you just saw me lightly put it on uh, lightly on the angle. And I'm bringing it back up lightly, lightly, lightly. Now, what I'm about to do is entirely up to do, up to you because I have Asian -y eyes. I go in really far out. See, this is where every eye is unique, and I need to slow down. I go really far out on my face, and then I um I I tend to just do the glitter crease, the shimmery crease in the middle. Now, if you want to do the halo look, 
since I did that on the last one, no, I just did an outright look. Um, I'll do it on another one of my videos. Uh, but you can, if you want to do the halo look, you just do the glitter in the middle. I might just do the glitter in the middle. Let's just do the glitter in the middle. Yeah. Do it live. Uh, so we're going to go back in with Nooner. And we're going to shade in my inner crease. This is Nooner. Shade in my inner crease, inner corner of my eye. Shade it in. And then um, we're going to take, now again, you have three options here. I love this. I love this palette. You have Trick, Buzz, or Dust of what you want to do. Uh, so, and all, all of them are shimmery. So, Dust is pretty light. Buzz is pretty purple. Trick is pretty golden. I want to say, you know... With this look, oh, you could do any of them. Let's go ahead. Let's play around. So since dust is the lightest, we'll do dust first. Now, I can. you can do it with this brush, which comes with the Naked palette, Naked 3 palette, Urban Decay. That's the beautiful beautiful thing about these palettes. They come with brushes. that you can, It can work for the whole kit. Um, so let's go ahead and go in with that color. Or you could do what most makeup artists do on every medium. The oil in your finger will help dab it on and it helps thicken it and you can go in with your finger. And then what you can do after doing that is you can take a brush like this angled one that I have from the Olivia, Ollie and Olivia or whatever, the cheap kit. It's just an angled loose brush. Make sure that, that you buy some loose brushes guys for blending. They're crucial and blend the whole thing because it already is looking pretty sharp. So you sit here and you blend, 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 and that's that look. Let's go ahead and swatch the, or let's go in with Buzz. Buzz is a little more purpley. And see what that looks like. See, that's cute. That's pretty cute. Like, this palette, I, this is not sponsored. I don't sponsor any of my stuff at all, period. I'm not, this is money out of my pocket. <laughs> this is makeup I've acquired over the years. Let's go ahead and go in with Trick. Uh, all right, granted, this color is going to be different because it has, like, two shades on underneath it on top of what I primed my lid with. That's Trick, and if you want to bring it in more, that's what you can do. That's pretty. See? The Naked 3. It took me time. I have had this for a long time, and pink just intimidated the living daylights out of me as it should. I had, again, my Too Faced palette. I had this. Uh, oh, I'm a jerk. This, oh no, that's right. Never mind. I'm sick, guys. Bear with me. I'm on NyQuil. DayQuil. Satin sheets. Uh, I never touched it. I never touched it. I was just so intimidated. I was like, I can't. What is that color? What would I do with it? Imagine having this palette for years, and now I look at it, and I'm like, there's so much stuff I can do with it, but it's just like, this bright glittery pink like I'm not a very princessy girl I'm princessy like um in the sense that I'm girly but I'm not I was never like I got over pink when I was like five and then I just never picked it back up I and then in makeup it's very intimidating so um you're gonna go ahead and go in to Kim sorry to <sighs> Teresa I'm disgusting on my videos if you follow me thank you I hope that my dorky, um, unkemptness, day-to-day, plant doesn't matter. I hope, I hope you like my videos. Uh, go in with In the Buff Day. And go ahead and brighten up the inner corners of your lid. This brush is Eco Tools. That's what I buy. Eco, -tool, Eco Tools are my go-to on top of, you know, cheap brushes from Marshalls or Target or... TJ Maxx, you know, you, brushes don't matter. But then again, I've never tried the it brushes or anything like that because I just don't have it in me to drop 32 bucks on a brush. I am not sponsored. And I had a roommate who used to buy all that stuff, like all the brushes. And I was like, I look at her makeup brushes and I'm like, that's on top of like buying the it cosmetics. That's over. Pardon me one sec. That's like over a hundred dollars. Just in brushes and maybe like CC cream alone. Oh, no. Pardon me. Their CC cream is amazing. Oh, amazing. Like, I can't even begin to tell you how much I love their CC cream. And then to take this look 
to even like the next level if you wanted to be like see this is a professional day-to-day -day look this you set you get some mascara and like you're good honestly you know what to do a softer to keep it like more mild and soft how embarrassing I didn't I didn't brush my teeth before this video this video you're watching it because you're new <laughs> and you're not looking at my uh, teeth. I have chutis on my teeth. God, you guys. So embarrassing. And then I went in with like the brighter light. I was like, this light's really bright. It's going to be so pretty. Dork, dude. Dork. Dork Omega. So I'm going to go in with two of my uh, blushes on this. I don't know which I want to do. Pixie by Petra has never done me wrong. I, I hope they still sell it. This is pretty old. It's a uh, cheek gel. I am a sucker in the wintertime for cheek. And you know what? Summer too. Both. Any time of year. Cheek gel and cheek stain. Oh, cheek stain. I'm such a sucker for it. Also too, this is like trending online because they give it to you. They give it to you for free. If it was like, if you buy over a certain amount of money of Clinique products, you get like, you know, free spring lipstick, whatever. But all the, and I was like, this is not my color. I don't think this is anyone's lip. Oh no, a really fair skinned girl, that berry look would look good. Um, but I think they recognize that um, this is very skin tone specific. So I've seen a lot of women do use it as a um, blush stick. But I think today, if I need it, if I need it on top of this, we'll. We'll do that. Again, these are creative ways. I mean, you can use like lipstick as blush. Have you, have you ever seen um, Inglorious Bastards? I'm gonna put some perfume on today. Why not? Let's get really pretty glammed up. I usually, this is Lola by Marc Jacobs. I usually use the no-name uh, Marc Jacobs, the Daisy, this is the, the plain one. I like the pink one and the white one, but I actually like them both, but I usually use the original one. Um, So we're gonna go ahead and go in with a beauty blender which is really embarrassing because now I can't find my beauty blender. The good news is, is when girls are getting started out, you see them mess up all the time. So I don't think I'm the only loser. Although at this point in the game, I just might be. So maybe she will, maybe she won't. Where did I? <laughs> loser. 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 Well, I was just warming it up, warming it up for you guys, because I know you can feel my pain, hot, warm shame with me of my chorizo teeth. If you're watching this far, God bless you. You're probably watching this for like <laughs> the lulls, like, oh my God, watch this old lady fail at uh, her makeup tutorial desperately. Horrible. So I put it on the beauty blender. I don't put it straight. Sometimes I put it straight on my cheek. Actually, I like it. Depends on my mood. Dab it. Dab it, dab it, dab it, dab it. If you rub, if you try and rub it, you will lose the product. See, yeah, see where it's very, it's gorgeous, but it's very subtle, very subtle. So if you want to keep it just like this, mascara done, I always want to take it to the next level. Like I almost got so extra right now. I have, um, I have these. Where's the one that I have? I have these OG Lime Crime liquid lipsticks that I don't use anymore because it was during the controversy of Lime Crime, which they're trying to erase from history. But it clogged my lip pores. I my lip pores still suffering from it because I was like, I didn't know who I thought I was. I thought I was Emma Stone, and I was I was lining my lips, <laughs> like thinking I was like Lucille Ball, Emma Stone, and really I look like that character that does the comedy with the thick lipstick. But only, I was trying to take myself seriously. This Clinique is a Rose Pop 06, if in case you want to buy it. Because it is a blush that will last you. And it's good for summer if you um, want to get that thick look into your skin. So it'll live and not go anywhere on you. Um, so that kind of took it a little bit to the next level. Different, different pinky look. Now... For lipstick, for lipstick, when it's winter time, ooh, buddy. Actually, let me go over my lipsticks. I have a lipstick problem. 
which I'm glad I grabbed this and I'm glad I can show you this. Pixie by Petra Lash Line Ink Black Silk. More like black doo-doo from the moment I bought this. Now, I granted, I might have bought it. I might have purchased a bad one. That happens sometimes, you know, Target. Who knows what happens there? Uh, well, that just made me look like a filthy liar. When I bought it, it wouldn't apply. It would dry and it wouldn't apply. And now I just like look like an idiot. What is it about these videos that is just like, God has a sense of humor or something? Like what? <laughs> this pinky look, I wouldn't add an, a, a black eyeliner to it. I just, I would not. Just leave it the way it is. Um, this Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette is filthy because, um, it gives you a little palette, but one day I got really frustrated with, because this stuff lasts you all day, no matter what you do. I tried washing the palette and I couldn't get it all off and I got mad and I tossed it because I have, um, anger issues. I can maintain it when I teach, but in my personal life, let's just say I got really, 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 really really step for wife into makeup for a reason. Um, so if you know anything about the color wheel, this is for you. If you know that you want to try a more reddish, reddish, um, yellowish red tint, you know, you're like, you want to experiment with like undertones. Like, you know, you want these colors or these hues, but you want undertones. You want to lighten it up, darken it up. This palette, as you can see, some of the, there's a swatch of some of the colors I've done recently. It's a pain, like it's not something that you can do every day. Something you do on the weekends when you're going out or you know you have an event planned because sitting there and patiently mixing the colors, who has time for that? Survey says, ding, no one. Um, I have e.l.f. lip stain. Even like lip stains are fun with a look like this. The one on the right, it requires like dark lips. I'm sorry, it does. Uh, I love, I'm a sucker for lip stains. Absolute, complete and total sucker for lip stains. But to take this to the next level, we're always going to take it to the next level in this channel. I've just discovered that I can't not be extra. Like, what is life like when you're not extra? My favorite lipstick in the whole world. This is, my, this is my baby right here. When I put it in my purse, I'm like, do not lose it. Do not forget it. Do not get mugged. Put it in your cloth purse that no one will want. I don't buy it fancy purses because if someone wants to take my purse, like take my $20. I don't care, but don't take my ship, my Coco Chanel lipstick. Look at it. Look at it. It says Chanel. Like, oh my God. Oh my God. This is Rouge Coco 21 uh, Rivoli. I'll never forget when I bought this. Oh, awkward story. I was at the Modesto. I was at a mall. Dang it. And uh, I ran into my brother's fiance and I was like, what color do you think I should get? She was like, this one, it looks good on you. And I got it. And uh, I was going through a dark lipstick fetish at the time. Like, like drug addict. Like, Feigning tweaker, like went to the mall and my friend screamed at me because I dropped ninety dollars on lipstick. This is what like the height of lime crime when lipstick was like all the rage. This is before they came out with the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I would probably still be like that if they they didn't if I didn't buy the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. So I used to read this book when I was in grade school that I was obsessed with called uh, Gingerbread, and then it had a sequel called Shrimp. It's um Shrimp. It's based out of San Francisco. It's an older book. If you're young, or if you're older, read it. It's a girl in her teens, but she's very, very modern. Um, and she's gothy, but not Marilyn Manson, 90s gothy. And if that's your vibe, whatever. She always would describe her vamp lipstick that she would wear. This to me when I put it on. I know it sounds so corny, but it's personal. There's a personal story behind this. Whenever I, it's the dead of winter and I throw on this lipstick, it's not in any way related. I didn't buy it with the book. I just, I see what I read in that book of like, I went and I threw on my vamp cough or just my vamp lipstick. This to me is like, if I were in the cast of like interview, interview with a vampire and I was like, you know, playing a huge gaudy, um, organ right next to Brad Pitt. And then, uh, Tom Cruise was, you know, fixing me a drink. 
this would be the lipstick that I would be wearing with my Teresa teeth. So this, <laughs> I'm sorry if you're watching this video. This look right here. I love it. This is like something you can definitely rock in the summer. But I mean, with this pink, would I do it? No, not at all. So with the pink, we'll go ahead and go in with something far simpler, especially if it's going to be like a summer look. Uh, now I have all this lipstick on my lap. And I want to get up, and we have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. So, let me get my lazy butt up. Um, let me go ahead and get a tissue because I didn't throw a tissue earlier. Take it off, remove it. And then, um, you could do something like this. This is like, um, Moxie Marvelous. Oh my god, their lip glosses. I had a, a matte pink, pink, pink of theirs. I got mugged in Argentina. And I liked the purse. I did. I didn't care too much uh, when I lost it. Uh, I was a little upset. It was a nice purse. No, it was a really nice purse. And I called my girlfriend on the phone in the United States. And I was like, I had my Moxie Marvelous. It was the long tube. The pink lip gloss. She was like, oh, honey, no. <laughs> Like, Charlotte, Sex in the City. She's like, which skirt? She's like, the Tottles and Vintage. She's like, oh, honey, I'm so sorry. And that was me. So you can do something very, uh, very, like, brick. This is, like, this is Marc Jacobs. Yeah, I have a bra. Um, kiss, kiss, bang, bang. Le Marc. Uh, it looks like that. I love it. It's just a sample lipstick. My girlfriend gave it to me. The same one I was telling you about. No, I'm not a lesbian. She's uh, actually, I consider her to be family, even though we're not blood related. Shout out to her. She got me into makeup. <sighs> she was a makeup. Was, is, and will always be a makeup junkie. Junkie. She was just a makeup junkie before she got a job working a uh, makeup counter. Um, for originally Bare Essentials, and then she switched over, and then now she has a me as an... An amazing job working for the state. Even though she didn't finish her degree and I finished my degree and I make like $7,000 a year. What can you do? Mm. But I'm trying to figure out what, if I, if teaching is right for me. And I substitute teaching is the way to do that. If you want to do something more neutral, you can do Tarte. These are their tinted colors. I'm obsessed with them. Tulip. These are all their flower tint tinted colors. You see me like Jones and like oh, lipstick. Oh my god, I'm a sucker for lipstick. Sucker for them. I will always do a good lipstick review. Always, and I'll keep it real. These are moisturizers. They're balmy and they're minty. Smell good, taste good, feel good. Can't go wrong. If ever you see them and you're torn as to whether or not you should buy them at um, Sephora or anywhere else, see you know what? I think that eyeliner sometimes liquid eyeliners. Comment if you feel me. They have to be broken in. I know that sounds so bizarre. So maybe that like the eyeliner is something to get, but you're gonna have to like break it in, like use it a lot, close it, let it bleed out or something. We're already over an hour. <sighs> Are we already over an hour? That is my completed look. I guess uh, for the sake of doing it, I will curl this lash really fast. And we will be done. Man, I feel like such a loser for how much of your time I, I not wasted, but just, I wanted, I wanted you guys to get the foundations of eyeshadow, like the fundamentals, the things that people have to live by. I mean, I've seen total professional brands hire major Victoria's Secret models, and they're like, I just dab this shimmery cream on my lid, and it's time for me to... Go and walk to store, and you're like, dude, you cannot, you're a gorgeous babe, you're a 10, you're the best canvas in the world, and they just, like, smeared poop on you, and they, like, put it up on a wall, and they were like, it's modern art. No, don't be that person. Thank you for watching. Again, my name is Alyssa Heart Imagination. I just thought I'd, if you watch this far, you deserve that, you know? Thanks.